on about Kazumi because I'm definitely a believer that Kazumi is not that bad. And he was like, yeah, I don't think Kazumi's that bad either. That's why I still play. I feel like she can definitely fight most of the cast. And he's like, if things get too crazy, then I go to Bob, you know? Yeah. But, but for the most part, I still feel like Kazumi does the job that she's always done. She's had, She has multiple lows with different speeds. She has um, the ability to, to outpoke you in the close range. The jab, the 1-1-2 one, one, is still such a, such a solid, solid move. And the Magic 4 as well. But look at this from Kakoma, size step 4. I'm gonna tell you right now though, the thing about Kakoma is that I feel like he excels in these kinds of matchups because he goes to characters like Fang and he was like, yeah, I just wanna win. I'm not playing cute or anything like that. I'm gonna do exactly what I need to do to get the W. It ain't working out too well here because like you said, it's multiple pokes coming from Olsan right now. Yes. Down forward one, two to close it out. Ulsan gets the first round. But yeah, it's very important to remember, man. Like, you know, uh, uh, she's, she, Kazumi's a very fundamental character. And in the right hand, yep. can definitely win tournaments. And Ulsan's already proven that. Yo, and then where's the Jimmy J Tran? She plays solid Tekken, bro. She just plays great solid Tekken. That's it, you know? Yeah. Um, uh oh. Down forward one, starting to add up. We've seen this before from Kakoma. Yes. Oh, the raise drive whiffs. That's going to be a nice punish from Kakoma. One more is going to do it. And that jab is going to close it out one round apiece. All right, here we go. Round number three, game number one. One of these guys are going home. Mm. Okay. Nice, nice back four. Counter hit here and the combo gonna get real close to the wall right now. Mm, good pressure on the wall. That running two, we haven't seen much of the running one. I wanna see some more of that. That, yep. that lockdown that uh, I feel like Kazumi has kind of earned. It really does kind of like, it keeps her game intact because you, it's not even like a slash kick. It's like, yo, you just got to respect this space. Very dragon offish, if you ask me. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Kakoma trying to sidestep. Gets hit by the down forward one. The jab pressure from Ulsan. But Kakoma's defense is holding up. Like I said, man, Kakoma is good at this kind of tech and play. Mm. Only going for the W. Spins the blue little chip on top of it. Oh, nice punish there on the down forward four string. Here we go, mid. Nice back swing blow. And look at that, just waiting for the last second. As soon as Osan got comfortable, backswing blow came out. Mm. Kakoma with the lead now, here we go. Go to the headbutt. Oh, catches him. Mm -hmm. Down four, three mm -hmm. now. Is that gonna go downstairs? Mm -hmm. Can, I would. No, oh. keeps it simple. Big damage too. Wow. Dancing a little bit. Kakoma nice. Spang looking very nice there. Goes for the low. Osan is gonna be a tough comeback now. He's got rage available though. Oh! This is not good. Olsan in trouble. Look at the life lead mm. Kakoma has. Three rounds to one. And I'm gonna go back to what I was saying. Yep. It does not matter what character Kakoma plays, because he plays to win. Yes. Like, it does not matter who's on the other side of that. Pa it does not matter. He's the guy who's like, look, I'm gonna use this, I'm gonna win. And he plays so to the point that it's, it's not like you can find where he's weak, because he's literally playing the character to the point. Like, that's why Kakoma is good. Olsan really struggling here, but I feel like that's the power of Kakoma. Kakoma is such, like, we talk about just playing solid Tekken. Just imagine switching from character to character and then having to optimize that to get to a top eight repeatedly over and over. And on top of that, you gotta remember, Kakoma used to be a Kazumi player. Oh, so, uh, yeah, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> you, you like, so going to this character, I feel like it's going to be a lot harder. I don't know. I'm, I feel like Bob might have been the better pick, but, you know, I'm over here. They're over there, and Olsan definitely understands their gameplay more than I do, so. 100%, man. These guys, you know, both from Korea, they've definitely played against each other a lot recently, so they're going to know the game plans are going to be there. Olsan sticking with the Kazumi. I like it. Let's see if he can adapt. And you know, Ulsan was talking about how online he likes to play like a very passive game where he tries to react to things. Uh, offline though, a little bit more aggressive, but he hasn't been able to get that aggression off against Feng. Of course, Feng with the back tempo, with the backswing blows and the, you know, all the tools to kind yeah. of stop that aggression, right? Down four, one, back one, back four. Yeah. Feng has a lot of tools to stop the game plan that Kazumi actually likes to play. Because yes. you're playing this up, and you know this, you're a Kazumi player, you used to play Kazumi as well, you yes. know? So you know that's exactly what happens. But Feng has, has been so strong in that regard now. There's a back one, lots of tools, like I said, to kind of slow down that game plan that Kazumi likes to get into. Absolutely. Okay. Hang on. Haven't been seeing much of that down 4 1 either. Mm, oh, counter hit. That's going to be a full combo. What's the ender here? Going for the Oki and the carry. Last frames there. Pushing Ulsan into the corner. That's not where you want to be. Block on the low. No punish. 
got a little too greedy with that one. Mm -hmm. One, two, and look at this. Not letting Osan move every time. Even if it's just a one, two, and you block it, you're not going to do anything to retaliate. And he's keeping that space. Oh! Catches you ducking. This should be. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, 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 oh man. Wow. Oh. <laughs> that was thick. Gets away from the run, but still gets the Oki. Osan, two rounds up now. Fighting I love, back. I love the interaction when I roll away from the stomp. I feel so good. I'm like, yes, yeah, I ain't taking no damage. Mm. This is good here from Ulsan. Staying in the pocket, just playing that in-close game. Both guys like to play that game, but Ulsan coming out on top. And we're starting to see more of that down 4-1. And I feel like it's such a good tool to deal with, like, Fang from Kazumi. Has to be a little more careful with his down 4-1. Yeah. I'm going to be reluctant to, with his back one, so. For sure, for sure. Look at that, using the back twos as well to try and stop the movement from Kakoma. Good break on the throw. Aye. Oh. Punish. Kakoma starting to run his back. 20 seconds. Oh, to, oh my God. The back. Oh, that's Drop it dead. on him. Yes. Shout out to the boy Rip. Shout out to the boy Rip. I'll never forget. Drop it on him. <laughs> <laughs> One match apiece now. This is really, really good. Ulsan, you know, Ulsan had a, a moment in 2019 where he wasn't winning tournaments, right? Mm -hmm. And he got advice from the other players that you need to go back to Ulsan Goding. And what that means is high schooler Ulsan. Go back mm. to that aggression that used to have, that fearlessness, right? That used to have. And ever since he got that advice, there was a switch. And he started to play so solid in that latter, latter part of the year until he got that. And then he got that second place at the yeah. second finals. Yeah. And you know, the Ulsan back now after military service, a little bit more buff now, you know. He's my been man's got training. my man's chest all puffed out, bro. Yeah, season four at Ulsan, you know. <laughs> 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 he's looking nice, he got the buffs, man. We need to see the patch notes. Right. But yes, um, final match incoming here. The adaptations have been made. It all comes down to this. One of these guys is going home. Two Koreans fighting in loser's side. Like I said, I don't know who expected this to happen. Yeah. I don't know who saw Osan meeting up with Kakoma and loser's quarters. And both of these guys going home relatively early in this top eight, if you ask me. Yeah, definitely, man. They were sure, for sure, favorites to win. And Kakoma, of course, getting that second place last, last time. I mean, for sure, if he gets out now, it'd be crazy. And think about it, it was a time when we were like, yo, man, if there's a Korean in the bracket, they're probably going to win. Yeah. You yeah. know, and now we got like two Koreans in loser's side because of Don Billy Maiman down two. Well, you know, talking to Osan, he was saying that he feels that the world is now very even. You know, yeah. of course, you do have top players in Pakistan, Korean stuff, but very even for the most part. Oh, and the down back through to finish it, Osan takes the lead. Mm, that's a very uh, unique view. I like that, though. Like, mm. I like that, though. Not everybody will say that. You know, a lot of people, I know this bad guy, he's like, Pakistan is number one no matter what. <laughs> and, you know, I ain't going to disagree with him, but I of love the Of course you're going to disagree, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but I do like the fact that Osai will legit, like, I love hearing other players talk about their feels on where they feel their their territory is or just territories in general. I like that take, though. 100%, man. It means you take everyone seriously, and he's taking this seriously as well right now. He's blocking that down, too. Nice punish. Oh, drops the shoulder. Mm, it's starting to add up right now. Yes, we're seeing these blocks on the lows as well from All-Star. The movement looking nice. Oh, my mm, God. Yeah. All right. Yeah, he's getting back to this point where he's playing, like, right out of range. We're back one, down for one. And even, like, back four. He's really at that tail end range. Okay. Cool. We're seeing all sorts of that from All-Star. He's mixing it up. He's using the running moves, the jabs, the down threes, the power crushes. Kokoma needs to do something nice. Punish there with a hop kick. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Big damage. Okay. Kokoma now facing elimination here. Oh, oh. no. Then that might have been a missed input. Tries to go for the mid on back turn. Kokoma takes this advantage and now it's like, all right, you gave me a chance. Oh my God, he's just backdashing at the wall, backdashing mm. at the wall. Look, he's trying to get oh on the God. wall and he's going for the wrong <laughs> off kick. Is that going to be it? I think it will. And Olsan with three rounds straight in the final match is going to eliminate Kokoma.